What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about a new update to the add location feature that's gonna make a huge difference in the way you can add context to your models. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is actually a feature that I would have expected to get a little bit more coverage from SketchUp in general. I mostly just found this one day when I was working on the add location function. And so remember that in the newer versions of SketchUp, add location is an extension. And so it should be enabled by default, but what you need to do is just right click into your toolbars area and select the option for add location. Well, when you do this, Remember that what you're going to do is you're going to add a location to your models. So in this case, we're just going to pick downtown Denver um, because downtown Denver should have a lot of good data. So we're going to set our geolocation right here. Click on import context. We'll notice how there's now an option in here for 3D buildings. And so this is a new feature and it actually makes a huge difference because if you look, when I drag this box like this, notice how this actually shows me building data in here. So there are buildings inside of the add location function now. And notice how they'll turn a blue color when you drag the box so that it's touching them. So like for example, if I was to drag this to right here, notice how this building right here is no longer gonna show up, but this is context data that you can bring into your model. You can toggle this off by clicking on 3D buildings or toggle it back on by checking this box. But now when you bring this in, if you click on import site context, not only is it gonna import your flat site, it'll also bring in three dimensional buildings from that area as well. And so this might take a little while because notice how this is building a bunch of 3D buildings. And these buildings are like low level context models, right? They're not super detailed or anything like that. But now if I click on close and I zoom out and it's probably best to just click zoom extends here, but this is actually bringing in those context buildings in here just like this. So you can use this in order to quickly bring in the building context of an area inside of your model, which is really cool and something that previously you had to use exterior plugins for. Now, there is definitely still a place for those exterior plugins like Placemaker because that one can take, it can take open street map data and create roads and things like that, but you can use this in order to add context to an area really quickly. And then say you don't need one of these buildings, you can just right click on this and unlock it and then click in here, double click, and you might have to double click a couple different times, but say you wanted to get rid of the buildings that are right here, you can just select those and delete them out because they're just blocks in here like this. And then you can actually model on top of this. So say you needed to do something on this site right here, you can use this in order to bring in context models all around it. So you can kind of see how it's going to feel with the other buildings around it really quickly. And so note that in some areas, like this is uh, New York City, for example, the, the models are pretty detailed, right? They've got some pretty good heights in here and um, they're still simple shapes, but they definitely do give you kind of a good feel for what the overall skyline is going to look like. So um, overall, this is a really cool tool. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you is say that you do have an area like Denver and you want to bring in those buildings um, in a way that's kind of aligned a little bit better. So what you can do here, is you can actually drag your location function when you first open this up. And I'm gonna put it along a road right here. So if we take this and we click and drag to align your green axis along the road right here. So notice how um, when we do that, then if we click on our set geolocation, that box can either be set to go where the up is the grid north, or you can also set it where the up is the green axis. So now that the up is the green axis, you can see that this is really kind of aligned right here inside of the space a lot better. So now if I come in here and try to try to import the context, you're not going to get that box that's like non-aligned. This box actually aligns really well with the buildings so that you're not picking up kind of this weird extra stuff on kind of a diagonal right here. So this is another great way to do that. And um, so then if I click on import the site context, it's going to bring that in and it's going to set up those buildings, but they're going to be aligned with that green direction 
in here. And that really only affects the way this is actually like imported, right? Your true north is still your true north with these buildings. So north is still in this direction. This is just aligning things so that you can pick up the buildings that you need to pick up in here like this. So basically your axes are now more aligned this direction. And if you ever need to reset those for whatever reason, like if you did need them to align with this axis, you could always come in here and just set the axes up so that they go in this direction along true north as well. So um, very cool feature from that standpoint. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you knew about this, if you've tried it. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you do wanna learn more about how to use SketchUp, I will link to my course on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.